Yo guys, what's up? It's Wolf your one and only, and today we're gonna be checking out the new update for Dragon Boys. And we're gonna be seeing what's what's up with it, man. Let's see. Ah, oh, it seems like they send out stuff to apologize. Oh, several things went wrong, I guess. Oh, that that sucks. But I think they got it fixed and everything. So first thing first, the new summons are here for new characters. But I want to go see their design first, man. I want to see it up front, animated, and everything. Are we almost there? There we go. Oh damn! Hold up, Osiris. You look a lot cooler in animation. Hold on, let's let's see his skills in action right quick. And if you guys are wondering why I turned the volume like so down on Dragon Blaze, it's just because Dragon Blaze has a lot of copyrighted music. That is the main reason why you guys barely hear anything in the background. Or if I keep the videos quiet. Okay. Nice. Okay, his animations aren't that bad, to be honest. There's that stun. I think the I think his second skill is definitely the the best looking one. Yeah, definitely my favorite. Okay, let's see how he goes into auto skill. Okay. That's his basics. Not that bad, to be honest. Alright, let's see Iris. You know what? I, I like it a lot better than I thought I would. I want to see your skills now. The entry's not that bad. Okay, so she shoots from the eye. Second, well, first skill. Okay. There's that damage um, increase for the allies. Okay, that one's kind of badass. She's definitely going to be really good for Golem. That's for sure. If you need a Golem healer, that's going to like buff the crap out of your damage. Especially uh, dot damage, you're going to definitely need her. Okay, not bad. Okay, let's see her auto. And she goes into the region, then back to her first skill. Wow, her cooldowns are actually really damn fast. Like, you're barely gonna see her um, actually auto attacking with how fast her skills recycle. So she's just gonna be stacking up all of those buffs over and over and over. That's actually really damn good. Okay. Not bad. First impressions on her, pretty good. I will build her in the future, but as of right now, I'm still gonna have to save. But let's go ahead and do the summon right quick, you know. Oh, well, it feels bad. Hey, Paladin, how you doing? Uh, I, I never missed you, you know? <laughs> okay, let's go to Infinity Summon, because I remember crafting. Infinity card. Okay, so you wait. Hold up, you require two of them to create one. Okay, so it is random. Ooh, that is not worth it. That is definitely not worth it. If it was one, then I'd be like, okay, that that's cool. I can do that. But since it requires two, no, that's not a good offer at all. I wouldn't even use this myself, to be honest. Because those souls are, like, really precious. I guess if you were desperate for, you know, just trying to get an affinity card, yeah, that would be cool. But other than that, I wouldn't even recommend that, personally. If I remember correctly, you get an affinity card for doing um, 10 of the summons, right? Okay, summon all at once. Oh, nice. Never mind. <laughs> they were just like, oh, here, never mind, dude. <laughs> Say, hey, you need two more. Here you go. <laughs> oh, that's funny. 
Okay, I like the summon at once. That that's actually really damn nice. Ah, summon at once actually gives gives you more suspense because you can actually see that the souls don't glow at all too. So you actually kind of know what's gonna be get what you're gonna be getting. I kind of like the whole event thing. Definitely like that. Okay, so what else was um, also in updates, right? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. There was... Oh yeah, the Busters. Busters, Busters. Since I don't work on mine, they're obviously not going to be up there. Okay. So I'm going to need mines for magic. So now I gotta put units in here. Okay, so they're recommending. And the rest of them that don't got thumbs up aren't really recommended. Noted, noted, noted. Not that bad. I'm guessing this is the assassin one. Okay, rogues. Ew! Wow, only got two recommended. <laughs> wow, feels bad. I don't. I don't really work on rogues. I. I really don't. Like I've thought about working on rogues, but yeah, rogues just don't. Not many rogues actually interest me right now. Okay, that's pretty decent. Uh, most of the magic teams are happening for me right now. I'm gonna pretty much add all these in. Paladins, Priests, and that's pretty much all I can add. So yeah, I kinda like them recommending stuff. Just because that kinda splits everything up. Oh yeah, the whole, um... That should be thing. Yeah, okay, here we go. So if you guys wanna build a physical team, they'll actually show you. I'm pretty sure they even show the dark about ones that you don't have. Yeah. All your physical healers, stuff that actually fits your team and stuff, and your magic healers, and damage buffs. Now you can tell which ones are which and build a certain team. I want to see, um, oh. There are no allies. Okay, so yeah, there are no allies that have dual. Non algebra. Oh. <laughs> so, Mercedes is the only one that is pretty much hybrid for non element. Okay, interesting. I didn't think that. Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? I want to take a look at pretty much everything. Oh no, wrong thing. There we go. Let's see. We already did that. We did those two. We already did the summons. I oh, have yeah, the ticket. I'm pretty sure we'll get rocked if we join that. We don't need to look at that. We don't need to look at that because there's no real improvements to it. No soul remaining stuff. Uh, improvement for authorization cards, mailbox. Oh yeah, Daily Dungeon has been changed too. I want to go see that for sure. Oops, wrong one. Oop. No, that's Challenger. Stop it. <laughs> How much did we get? Oh, nice. 30? That's not too bad. Actually, that's really good. Getting at least 30. And when, you know, the times 2 events come by... You actually get like a lot more. That's actually really good. And I'm pretty sure this has changed too. To where you need a lot more busters. So I'm going to take this and this. Or you could just choose one of them. Whichever one. I want to choose the magic one actually. I thought she... Well, actually, with the way they were talking about it, I thought you could carry, like, multiple ones. 
I barely ever do these anymore. Even though people have told me to do them, but yeah, you know, like, hey. Oh, I love the design of this. Yeah, this is the pirate one. For the pirate overlords. Damn. That damage, though. <laughs> that damage is pretty damn big. Wink, wink. I also don't think we need the whole cutscene stuff, too. Because that kind of throws off the pace of trying to, like, you know, finish our dailies and stuff. That, that's just me personally. But, yeah, I think my, um... Our Buster is going to be the best thing for myself. Well, the uh, Magic Arc Buster is going to be the best thing for me right now. Oh, wow. They, they've definitely um, outdone themselves with this update. Now, I'm pretty sure they have a lot more. This wasn't like a huge, huge update for like story and shit like that. But they're definitely getting our characters in today. But this was a pretty big update, you know, a lot of changes. But it wasn't like Wonder Mega huge ones, you know, that changed like every everything. Facebook recommended is gone. UI improvement. Oh yeah, I played a little bit of the mini game. It's kind of like the whole um, that one missing slot and try to match the pictures of. Kind of like that. I I wonder if they have it inside of um their settings. Game info? No, you don't. They should definitely put it inside the game setting, just so people can play it, or put it down here somewhere where you can play the mini game. Because usually other games do that, you know, they kind of put the mini game down there so you can just, you know, play something when you're bored or something. That's something that definitely, you know, should be thought about adding. Oh yeah, they did like a Q and A that I missed. It was somewhere inside of their um fucking forum and I want to go over that and um see what their response were uh let's see yeah special logins I already looked at that already looked at that oh yeah the costumes the costumes oh my god I already spent all my rubies but you know hey might as well look at them <laughs> okay what what do you got Hey, hold up. The warrior's looking nice in his costume. Not a huge fan of the tattoos and stuff, but you know, that's so nice. Oh, god, I'm kind of liking the archers a little bit. I've never been a huge fan of their pinkish kind of costumes a little bit. I always like the blue ones. Oh, I definitely like them. <laughs> Dude, the priest one definitely got me. It, it has me like big time because I love the jacket on the shoulders. The design of it is fantastic. Oh, I have to grab this. I might be a priest main soon. <laughs> Not a huge fan of the hair on this one. Ah, oh, his doesn't have bad either. Damn, the rogue has... Rogue got a nice one. Okay, not a huge fan of that, but you know, I, I see what they're trying to go for. At least I like the hat, to be honest. Sure, not so much. The, the blade is actually pretty cool. Kind of like a little axe. Well, actually, I think it is an axe. Which looks kind of weird, but I kind of like it. And what is the encant- Oh, the encanter actually got a nice one, too. Kind of like the red one, too. Alright. I think my favorite ones out of this would definitely be the priest and the rogues costume, for sure. But I would, I'm going to get the priest one, for sure. I, I have to. You guys are going to stop seeing my archer in the future. Once I get my priest up to archer. <laughs> That's going to be perfect, you know. I totally forgot about the costumes. But let me find this um, post so we can go over it together. Alright. I found it. I found it. It's in your forums. All right, so let's see. This is our, the devs' response to all the those feedback surveys that you guys could have, you know, sent in your like two cents, you know, stuff they probably could have added. Okay, so better drop rate for infinities. We are aware that 
of the fact that players have a difficult time with affinity summons due to the, a limit on global service system we have we are having troubles with providing the latest update version with improved drop rates we will try to solve the issue as soon as possible okay yeah, that's actually pretty nice um two mini wish for a pity system oh yeah we technically did get that pity system um to be implied into the five summons that so we can have a better chance of getting the infinity card we will try to make progress on your request as soon as possible to reduce any complications for users okay we already got the pity system because every two summon no every like 10 summons on the affinity summons the, the uh, normal one not the event one on the normal one you get a chance at an affinity card so that was actually pretty nice all right three add an affinity card guarantee system after two yeah yeah we already got that um four more rubies more chances of okay a lot of this is just dealing with the affinity summon and it's kind of true the affinity summon is kind of you know was kind of wonky and stuff like that you know i know a lot of users who still have had real bad luck with it and still haven't even gotten an affinity card well i wouldn't say you still haven't gotten an affinity card just affinity card for like good characters that they've wanted okay more gold drops more gold would be like fantastic because i am running out of gold every time i up something saying it's hard to obtain and would like to see more ways to get gold i honestly agree with that increased rewards for doing stories i wish the rewards were kind of changed that's for sure because the rewards that we have now for story really don't benefit late game they pretty much especially as it's going off on because the higher in the because as the story goes, the more powerful units you are gonna need. Like I think the rewards for like the lower stages for like chapter one through three can stay the same, but they're definitely gonna have to start upping the rewards and changing them as you go up into the other chapters. Just because people who are up in the upper chapters are gonna be like way stronger, and those rewards aren't gonna help them at all. Because you gotta think about it. You're giving us double S R. No, you're giving us triple S's that we don't need or use and those will be converted into souls and you're thinking there sitting there thinking why am i getting these i'm already up here so i would say higher in the chapters from like you know four from like three to four would give like transcended maybe maybe like transcended arch i pretty sure we can spare those just because they aren't like really strong and stuff like that then as we go we get like base overlord like stuff or maybe like ultimate overlords as we finish like each stuff because it makes no sense for us getting through like most of the story and having like really bad rewards that really don't help us progress as we're doing story that, that's just my little bit of two cents on that. We reduce the player's inconvenience on gathering from, uh, oh. So they're thinking about increasing the rewards for our pigs, huh? Okay, that could that'd be pretty helpful, especially if you get more goat. By providing other events so users can get more goat. Eee, that's gonna be that's gonna have to be a lot more gold because most of the like rewards we get really don't benefit us in the gold like area um let's see let's see this is like one mil yeah two mil and that only gives us like that much i see you should add an extra zero in that at least just because you gotta think about it we're getting our prices are like so damn high for like making you know higher end characters to the point where we're losing code more than we are making gold when we should be making a lot more gold just to balance with of how much gold we're losing so let's say a full run inside of a um, challenger dungeon 
you know, that gives us like 500 mil, you know, that's like a full eight hour run. That's, sh that should definitely, you know, not take that long just to get gold every single day. You know, that farming process is just gonna just really take a toll on players. And they're just gonna be like, oh wow, I was only able to enhance my character like twice. You know, and they have all those souls saved up and ready to enhance their character. And, you know, if I was to just start enhancing right now, I would only probably be able to put in like... Hold up, let's go see. How much would it take to get my... Um, where is she? Like, she's plus two right now. If I was to go in here... And let's say if I had way more... Okay, hold up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I'll only, I'll only be able to get her to ultimate. From that further on, it's going to be like... Do I have an ultimate I can do a sample on? I don't think I do. That's unfortunate. Because if I had an ultimate, you, you'll see definitely the loss of how much you're getting. And not only that, you have to take them through the base versions of it, too. Because, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you're not even at max. Boom. Max is just going to be taking, like, half your go that you farmed. Well, actually, you pretty much farmed at least this, this much. And that's only, like, four enhancements off of just the base. You know, you can always absorb something, but you, you still got to remember that us players still have souls we have to use, too. We can't just always provide, you know, survive off this just because this is going to be dropping extra return souls for us to be using on normal. And normal is going to take up so much of our gold. And you got to remember, we got to up gears. We got to do so much more with the gold in the game. Okay, let me let me go ahead and keep going. I know, man, I'm just ranting a little bit, you know, adding my own two cents in there, you know, giving people, like, the reasons. Okay. Increase rewards for daily dungeon. Uh, they should add another difficulty for daily dungeon for more rewards, at least. It's difficult for us to increase the daily rewards with our current system. But we will try and decrease the... Okay, they're going to just go with the inconvenience thing, as always. Yeah, they're always going to try to rely on the whole double reward thing. But I say when they uh, get a better system, they should just add in another difficulty. Because that would be a lot better. You know, all these are nice and all, but our teams are, like, way stronger than all these. You know, you kind of want a challenge for, like, more, you know? That, that's kind of what we need instead of just, you know, these two difficulties. Okay, back to what I was doing. Okay. Six. Add a hands-off mode for raid. Mm, that, that's kind of a troublesome one. You, you can't really do that considering they're online. Like, when you're doing Challenger... Let me explain this one. So basically, when you're doing Challenger, you know, it's basically like a solo thing. But you're actually going in with other players. And, you know, connectivity and stuff like that is not going to work out. But let's see what their, like, explanation was. In features like Raid and Arena, both of these require other users' data. It's difficult to use it. Oh, yeah. See? Basically. Yeah, you, you can't really do that because, you know, other players have to connect to it and without them actually being on the app, all that data is not going through. So that's going to be, like, really difficult for them to do. I wish it was possible, definitely, because that would be amazing and I could just farm up all my gears and stuff while I'm offline. But you, you, you can't really do that just because all the data is, like, online. All right, seven. 
Players would also like to see Gold Cap increase. Yeah. A lot of I've heard a lot of players wanting Gold Cap Cap increase. Just I think that's mostly Wells who talk about that. Just because they have a lot of gold and they don't need to um, use it. Okay. Put different rewards in the Odyssey. Such as okay, yeah. That'd be pretty decent. The possible Okay, so they're gonna provide them as win. Okay. To be honest, I don't see how that's difficult, but Okay, not make it possible to collect okay, yeah, they already did that. More costumes, yes. For other characters and stuff. Give me more authorization cards for all those skins because you guys make some really, really good skins, dude. I wanna see that artist, you know you know, working on him. He has real good talent with those skins. I want to see more authorization cards for heroes. So I can keep putting them on. Because those summer skins were amazing. So I give him, like, huge pro props on his art, like, always. Your art team is, like, really damn good for this game. Okay. So, 11. Overhaul for character's balance. Okay. That's just, like, standard stuff. But they have no chance, no time, or well, they have no current plans to rebalance. Because I think they like it how it is. To be honest, I haven't really seen many people complain about certain characters. Because everything could be kind of countered, to be honest. Add a quality of life system which allows players to sort through. Okay, yeah. It said they were they already added the system kind of like for like. What was it? Um, decreasing something? Let's see. Oh no, it, it was um, the ending soon stuff. So yeah, yeah, stuff that has like a time limit, things like that, better sorting. That's pretty good. Okay, players enjoy the story and can't wait for stuff some players request to replay the story yes like a um, little library scenario thing I'm pretty sure we can't do that right much for liking our story we are currently working on a way to provide more story for users who have existed and waiting for 64 please understand that we cannot satisfy your needs right away we will make sure to consider providing story replay mode. That would be nice. However, with our current game system, it might take some time to develop it. Currently, we do not have a replay system, but we have a summary system. Okay. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Please allow us to select... No. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I gotta kind of shut this one down because that's gonna be a hassle. And I know you're gonna be like, dude, we just get it every month, but somebody can just keep stacking up one character. And all it takes is just that one character to be real buffed real quick and just destroy teams. And it causes, well, let's just say it causes unbalanced stuff. To happen. I know it's like once a month, but it definitely does cause unbalanced stuff to happen. Because you can be easily just have like a transcendent character, you know, you just need one more. You just make him OP real quick. I'm not sure how that one would go. But eh, let's see the reply. Red Blaze is the game where you just try to collect as many characters as possible. And we tried to make all heroes perform their roles in many different ways. We do understand that users are having a difficult time. They cannot get units they want. However, we do think that finding the right content for newly received uh, will grow, I guess. I guess they're talking about the um, event thing. I think the event summon is like going to be really good for anybody who's, you know, been saving up the rubies and stuff, been doing events. But I understand where they're going with this. 
They want players to like collect stuff, not just have like a, you know, sure way. Well, not I, mean, I don't think that's what they're saying. I think they just want to do it through like more events. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> all right, we already got the whole summon all at once. Okay, so they can't add any of these like practices. Yeah, well, I think Gilded wouldn't really be able to be in there. But we will make consideration for adventure. Yeah, I think they already added this, didn't they? I'm pretty sure they already added that. New player rewards should be increased to allow new players to have a chance of decent team. They normally do like um, increase these. I think it's been a while since they last increased it. Receiving... Okay, hold up. Receiving transcended characters is not enough for players to really do anything. That's true. That's definitely true. Giving a few ice... Well, infinity cards. I think that's what that is. Or summon chances would greatly help. I think a tutorial, a better tutorial would actually be really good too because a lot of people ask a lot of questions about how you would play the game and how, you know, to make infinities. I think that would be good too. I don't know if they have that inside of their whole beginner quest things, but that definitely should be added. Thank you for your opinion. We will gather users' opinions and try to provide better rewards for new players. Okay, nice. 18. Add a skip mode for dungeons and auto battle for arena. Like what? If you're being skip dungeon, like, yeah. If you're talking about like skip tickets, that should not be a thing. Not for this game, at least. Just because we already have a hands off mode, and skip tickets would make hands off modes obsolete. That, that's just me and my personal opinion. Other people can think of it in a different way. To be honest, I'm not, I'm not trying to shit on like anybody's opinion or anything. I think I'm just saying, like from my point of view of playing the game for a long ass time now. All right, must cut more customization for gilding characters. Customization for emblems and guild. Yeah, that would actually be nice. I would like some more em emblems. Do not have any plans to do so. Aww. For character customization, it is impossible to provide facial customizations like 3Ds. Yeah, facial customization, I guess, would be difficult, but I don't think hair would. But I, I, I don't, I don't think they're talking about like full-on customization for characters, right? I think it's more of like more costumes, I guess, what they're trying to say. But if they aren't talking about like full-on customization of characters, that one would actually be pretty difficult to pull off for Dragon Blaze. For like the main characters. But I'm pretty sure they can do like costumes maybe. Like divide the costumes up a little bit, like put this hat on that character, you know, change the shirt and stuff like that. But I think that would be like really tedious for the team and would like probably stress them out. Possibility of buying Infinity Cards. Overall, Infinity Cards is are in demand. That that is true. And users want to have many as possible. Okay, let's see. We will set the users' opinions. Yeah, they're probably gonna just do it through like events and stuff like that. More PvP modes. Oh yeah, we already got the 10 main arena. But they will provide some in the future, I'm guessing. By the burning gauges more than twice. We put limit on limits on burning gauge to manage balance in the game. Hmm?
and gameplay. Okay. I understand the difficulty is raised to the purchase. And... I don't, I don't know about that one personally. Because I think it's actually... That's actually reasonable to increase it. But for players that don't... Well, I can see that players that actively, like, do it, like, every single hour or eight hours, they just, like, oh, eight hours done. You know, put on, like, some kind of timer or something. Every time it hits eight hours, they hop back on, do it again. Stuff like that. People who are, like, aggressively grinding. I can see how they feel on that. But people who just put it on there and just totally forget about it, I guess for them it would be a lot more easy for, like, casual players. But we do have many ways of getting more. We have them from um, logins. We have them from here. So you basically get three a day if you do buy these. And most of the time, for those of you guys who um, don't know this, we do have secret shop that shows up on the weekends. And I would recommend checking secret shop every single weekend just because there are a lot more like uh, burning caps that actually come by. But I don't know about that one. I, I would say if they were to increase it, increase it to five at least. I think that would actually be pretty good. However, we do understand that there is not enough while playing the game. Please keep in mind that we provide some in... Call the golden chest? Oh, oh, okay, I know what they're talking about. The golden chest from, like, the, um... Golds? Golds? Whatever the hell they're called. We used to have, like, events for that. And locks for characters. Yeah, for the overlords and transcendents. I think we did recently get that. Uh, damage value looked in. Okay, they're just pretty much having a response to the um, little show damage thing. Yeah, damage is kind of clustered, but uh, I don't, <laughs> I don't... I never really paid attention to it too much. As long as I'm killing, that's fine. <laughs> that, that was just me, to be honest. I know other players uh, don't really like that. Uh, let's see. Make hands-off mode for guild loot. Dude, that would be fucking amazing to have it for guild loot, but it's also still another multiplayer event. Dude, I, I actually like this one because I barely ever do guild loot and I hate leaving my emulators on while I'm doing something. Like, rendering a video and having that in the background would be really annoying. But a reminder, I would love a reminder system because I don't really get notifications for when events like start. Especially the whole um, evasion event, I don't really get notifications for that. I would love notifications for it for now on. But if you can send out notifications to like guild members, you know, just you know, messages saying, Guildmaster has sent the message to everybody, you know, and send that notification to your phone. I, well, actually, no, never mind. That could actually be pretty annoying. Especially if you're a troll. <laughs> so, never mind. But yeah, scratch that. Please allow viewing illustrations and story. Okay. Yeah, I, guess, I guess that's a nice one. Do you plan to hold old new ones? Oh, hold <laughs> Old modes at, such as Tag Match, Fortress, and um, as in regular events. That's a Bahamut. Well, that's technically ROB. ROB would be back as an irregular event for Jewels. We do not have any plans for Tag or Fortress battles because they lack content to provide as events. Okay, I can actually understand why they took those out. And nobody really did tag anyway, since it was changed to AI instead of like PV actual live PvP. Like live PvP was like really fun for tag, but when they changed it to you know the whole AI system, 
it, it kind of got boring and nobody really did it because it was like lack of strategy at that point. Other modes we will, uh, other modes you mentioned, we are currently performing, preparing. Okay, so they're actually thinking about many new modes. Bring back tower. Tower as an irregular event would be nice. I think, I think that would actually be pretty good as an irregular event. You know, just have it up for like, I want to say a week every month. And see how far people can get into it. That, that would actually be pretty good. Um, 28. There are only a few guild skills. Will there be more? I was actually thinking, wondering this too. If you're talking about guild buffs, we are. We currently have guild loot buff and challenger buff. We will consider other skills, huh? Okay, that, that's fine. That's fine. I would definitely love some more guild buffs for other like modes and like overall. Oh yeah, didn't they take out the whole guild stats status increase thing? I don't remember them actually added that ever. Whoops. Let me go ahead and... Oh. We're just going to buy these for now until we can actually finish out everything. Guild cards. Yeah, these are the only guild things that we have now. I think they took away the whole stat thing that I never really thought about ever again. <laughs> so, yeah. Double skill increase for like penetration and stuff like that, it, like attack increase for all characters, for your guild members. I think they changed that just to the guild buffs. I guess that's what they went for. When will King Graham approve Mercedes marriage with Death Crown? Oh, for the um, Star and Marble event? So Death Crown has a history of selling himself Rodney Rock inside a king grabs body to stop <laughs> Ragnarok. It's very unlikely that. The, okay, well, yeah. <laughs> I, I like that one. That, that response actually pretty funny. Are you planning on adding a new class? Currently, do not have any plans of adding a new class. Okay, so. I would like to ask what's the point of my guy? Um. Well, shit. I guess I have to go in here. What is up with the twin swordsman? Did we did we forget about him? So I guess he's. I guess he's not gonna be added to the game at all. So I guess he's just there as a placeholder. I mean, he looks sick too. It's unfortunate, man. Unfortunately that he's not gonna get actual functioning skills and stuff like that. So I guess he's just there for display. Aw. Oh, that sucks. Had a bulking system for uh, runes, seven emperor weapons, and arc clusters. Okay. Nice. Send a notification 10 minutes before guild mode start. That would be fantastic. Sending a info, well, notification before guild modes begin is a good feature to develop. We will consider it. Thank you for your great opinion. Thank you. That would be really nice. The whole guild loot thing is going to be questionable because we don't start guild loot as soon as it um, starts. But Siege! <laughs> I haven't done Siege in like it. Fucking five months now, just because I, I don't think about it. I wouldn't say five months, but no, yes, I would say more than five months. Because I, I never really think about Siege. Because there's no notification. Make select. Now, that, that would create a huge, huge imbalance. I'm pretty sure that would make like a huge imbalance, but I guess, I guess you would be incre yeah it would increase the chance of getting what you want, and then that would start like a huge imbalance as you like you know throwing that in. But does the Korean version have that? In Korea, 
where all content and modes are applied first, all Dragon Blades heroes are provided with specialties, so each hero can play this role. Okay. Therefore, in the long run, Dragon Blades will use all characters someday. So, providing answer right now are actually a disadvantage for players. Okay, so the, they understand that that would cause like a huge imbalance. And they they won't be able to fix that imbalance because that would be like really difficult to fix without pissing off players. But let's see. Move the time limit for no. That would also <laughs> players would never come back to the game because they'll come back like a year later. Well, actually, no, they wouldn't because um, they'd be using up all their shoes. And I guess they would. Would they use the shoes they would get? And, no, I'm pretty sure it would stop as soon as you run out of shoes, right? So it doesn't continue. But I, I don't think the time limit for hands-off mode should be removed because that that you definitely wouldn't play if you have like a lot of shoes. And I think our max cap for shoes right now is is thirty two thousand. Yeah, thirty two thousand. And players would not play for like a whole how much would that be because you would mostly for me it's like using 2,000 shoes every eight hours so the whole day it would take more than yeah I wouldn't be I wouldn't play for like nearly two days or actually more than two days like two three days at, at best I think if you do the math so hold up since the pause excuse me since the purpose of users you playing a uh, challenge dungeon is to get the rewards they will lose their interest in if there is no time limit yeah, that, that could destroy interest, but here's the thing. Hands-off mode already kind of destroys interest. I would say... Well, I can't really say increase the time limit, because that would also still create more loss of interest. But here's the thing. Auto battle games are kind of like doing that right now. And Dragon Blaze is kind of doing the whole auto battle thing with Challenger Dungeon. I was going to say increase it to 12 hours at least. But I think it's kind of fine where it is right now personally. But other people probably won't agree with that but yeah. We use more offers for purchase. Okay yeah that's for Wells. I, I guess that would be great for wells just to, um you know give them more things to buy and help the game still you know stay in business shit like that but yeah that has been the stuff that i wanted to you know talk about inside of like dragon blaze stuff we went over a few of the updates and stuff like that which i'm, I'm, ha I'm kind of happy that they did like these updates and stuff you know they addressed like a whole bunch of frequently asked questions from um players I'm happy that they're actually starting to lis listen a little bit to the community, which they mostly have most of the time. But yeah, it's actually nice to see that they actually responded to most of the concerns. But that's pretty cool. Anywho, I'm going to end off there. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.